They're yeah, we well, you know, turn the lights on. They had a lot of flooding in a lot of their equipment things, oh, and okay. you don't have enough equipment well, to back up all that stuff to get it from across the country. A simple lesson was they said we need to move our generators and stuff from basements higher. Higher. Yeah. Yes. And they said that was something easy that they can do. Right. Now. And I bet you next time they will. Yeah. Because that <laughs> showed the power of that storm surge, and it was all, all done after that. Well, around here, it's finally quiet, except for a few remnant showers out there. 48 degrees, the current temperature right now in Portland. Boy, was it a soggy Sunday? Yes, it was. If you were out, you know about that. And this morning, I woke up to the pouring rain as well outside the window. That was about six something this morning. Anyway, mostly dry now as you look to Portland in the west. Uh, we have a few showers still going off to the east. These are mainly at this point, mainly rain showers and not snow. Uh, the snow level is up there around 6,000 feet right now. Still a few isolated showers in the metro area, but again, we're near the tail end of that, and thank goodness we are. Look at the rain total today. Over six-tenths of an inch. We had over half an inch in Troutdale and about a third of an inch in Hillsborough. So the more you went to the east, the more the numbers went up. Salem, you had 59 hundredths. I mean, we had more in the valley than the coast, and even central and eastern Oregon, a mix of snow and rain in these totals here. As far as uh, what happened with our lows this morning, nothing too exciting. 40s, but notice the 20s here, so you can see where the snow zone would be with numbers like that. How about the highs today? Day. Into the 50s we went. A 53 in Portland, that's about average for this time of year, but Baker City only 32. Now, November's kind of had some different moods. I don't know if you've noticed this. The first six days, much different than the last six that we've been through. Our average high for uh, November 1st through 6th was 63. Even the average lows were in the 50s. This is warmer than it should be, but all of a sudden, November moods change. For the last six days, we've been cooler than we should be. Of course, you put these two together, and that's how you end up with your average, right? So, one of those little tricks that Mother Nature likes to play on us. Uh, temperatures up, temperatures down. And I think they're going back up, actually, over the next few days. Now, uh, in Pinpoint Doppler, you see we've still got some snow showers over here towards Spokane and far eastern Oregon. Those will be ending overnight. And we've got a few rain showers on the west side. Those will also be ending. A lot of clouds coming in from the southwest. This is somewhat milder air, at least a little bit. Lots of clouds. But not much rain, at least from this thing. I think mainly uh, the rain part of that stays to the south of us. Now, here's raincast, 11 o'clock tonight. Still keeps mainly rain showers, very light over the Cascades overnight. Those dwindle as we go through the day tomorrow. If you're going to Seattle, you can see it'll still be raining a good chunk of the day. But we made it all the way through our Tuesday now without much more besides, uh, you know, maybe a few sprinkles. That's about it. And I think on Wednesday, look at this, we start to get some clearing. And that could boost our temperatures well above average. So we'll keep an eye on that one. So here's what to expect for the next few days. Uh, mostly dry other than some isolated showers. Overall temperatures are going to be warmer than last week. So they are headed up again. And I think as far as areas of morning fog and drizzle, those will be the most significant things we probably deal with weather-wise in the next few days. So 50s along the coast, 50s in the valley like Salem, 55. Mostly cloudy. And yes, there could be some morning fog or drizzle. As far as central and eastern Oregon goes, Mostly cloudy, but also a mostly dry day. Morning drizzle areas through the gorge, and we'll see some rain and snow showers in the Cascades. The snow level, though, will be up around 5,500 or to 6,000 feet tomorrow. Patchy morning fog and drizzle in the valley, 44 for low. It's not too cold, and 54 for a high temperature. Some places may make it to 55 in the afternoon. That will depend on sun breaks, and I bet we'll have a few around anyway, but all of us are kind of in the same boat across the metro area. We'll say 52 to 55 and morning fog and drizzle. About the only weather issue tomorrow. I've got mostly cloudy the rest of the day, and here's your seven-day forecast. Temperatures in the mid-50s. That's above average for this time of year. And uh, as we look for more mountain snow, I think we'll get some on Saturday, some on Sunday, and some on Monday. And okay. you know, a lot of people are still fingers crossed, right, yeah. for a Thanksgiving opening. Right. That can happen in a hurry. So we'll keep an eye on next weekend okay. when we get some more moisture. This in is here. pretty normal. Yeah. I mean, to have it open much before Thanksgiving is, is pretty rare. And that's pretty unusual. Yeah. You're right. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Okay.